when we're talking about suicide, pre preventing suicide, it has to be not only just the mental health professionals, which is obviously an extremely important part of this, but a community-wide uh, thing. I remember when the COVID first took off and this team, the team I'm in, the wellbeing team in the government first created, we, we taught on active listening. And people were thinking, well, that's a bit random. It's not one of the things we started talking about. But what we wanted to do is get people listening. And I think that feeds into some of the Jib Sam's uh, um, ethos as well. But as a community to try and sort of like really notice the signs. Walking Together focuses on suicide bereavement specifically. But Sean's experience in the field, his familiarity with the subject and with those affected, has given him invaluable insight into what can be done on a personal level to offer support to someone in our lives who may be suicidal. We don't know what's going on necessarily fully what in someone's life, but if we take those moments and times to find out uh, as a collective, uh, then we, I'm sure we can really get to the point of, of supporting people. Um, because what, what affects me might not affect you or vice versa. And again, we don't know people's history. We don't know what's going on. They might present themselves in, in a, a certain way. They're very smiley and happy. But when we start scratching into the surface, there's, there's other things going on. And I think the more we teach people to look for those signs and do these things, the better we are able to reduce and hopefully come to zero suicides. That would be the aim. The subject of suicide is extremely complex. There's no substitute for the work of mental health professionals and the provision of mental health services in Gibraltar is subject to ongoing scrutiny and criticism in this area in particular. As individuals, Sean tells me of the importance of being aware of the well-being of the people in our lives. Socially, financially, in their relationships, many factors can contribute towards an individual feeling suicidal. But Sean points out that what's missing from their lives can often be summarised in the same way. Purpose and meaning. Now, purpose and meaning to you might be different to me, might be different to anyone. So if we're looking at for someone for recovery or for someone who needs that support, where, where's that? Where's that in their life? Where's that purpose and meaning? And it, it, it might not be there or might be something, well, what's the point? Things like that. So, so let's, 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 look, let's, let's take some time for collectively to reflect. Then we can explore together with these people what's, got, what's happening in their life. What's their story? If we uh, look to our individual people our, in our society with love, compassion, I'm giving them hope, which is why we have it on a t-shirt, then I'm sure we can be, we can all play our part in this preventive support network. Uh, and it's, it is really, like I keep on saying, it's a real collective.